Hello and welcome to a tutorial from Premiere EPOS. Today I will be showing you the integration between Shopify and the EPOS system. This guide can only be followed if we have done the initial setup for this integration. If this has not been done, please contact our support team. Okay, firstly, you need to do a couple of setup steps to get your till integrating with your website. This step needs to be done on till one, but afterwards you can work from any till or back office. First, log in. Go to settings administration, software settings, special tasks, day space repair tasks, and then adjust registry to force TLS 1.2 plus. Once this is done, run selected task and wait for the confirmation message. You can then press OK save settings, log out, and then exit to Windows. You can now start your EPOS up normally. After this step, you can work from any till or back office as long as this is repeated on that device. Next, you need to log in Go to your stock, stock manager, and find any product. Go to website upload and press resync categories. Once you get the confirmation, this step has been completed. Okay, now you can start setting up products on your Shopify website. Firstly, I would suggest that you pull the website upload tab from the top section by clicking and dragging and placing it on the right. This means both your search results in the EPOS and the website properties are accessible on the same screen. Firstly, find a product that you wish to upload. On the website's upload tab, go to set product categories, tick the box next to the desired category, and note here categories are referred to as collections on your Shopify site. Press accept, and then press upload to web and save. You will get a confirmation message that this has been completed. Next, if you are trying to link an item that already exists on your website, select it in the EPOS, go to your Shopify, and find the desired product. At the top of the page, you will see in the URL after the last forward slash is a number. Take a copy of that number and enter it into the unique ID of the product you wish to link. Now press save only. This product is now linked with the one on the Shopify site that you got this number from. Next are complex products. Okay, as you can see at the top left, this store sells a cat collar in blue, in small, medium and large. Now I don't want to list them as three separate items on my website. I will list them as one item and have an option of either small, medium or large. To do this, I need to set up a complex product. Firstly, you need to create a variation of that product with no size in the name. This is called a parent product, and this is the one that will control the link between the other three. Next, you need to go to search, edit custom stock fields, 
and add a field for size. When you're creating custom stock fields for website integration, you always select text. Now enter a default value of a dash. When you close this, it will close the stock screen. Just open it back up again and find your products. Next, you need to add to your layout the column you've just created. You now need to map that column to your website. To do this, exit the Stock Manager, go to the purple arrow at the top right of the screen, web slash multi-store, and website integration manager. From the drop-down, select Shopify, press add new mapping. From the list, select your column. In this case, it's size. Now enter the number one. Now press accept. As you can see, the size column has now added to the list. Close the integration manager. Press the purple arrow twice until you get back to your normal screen. Go to stock. Stock Manager, find your products. For the parent item, in the size column, enter the number one. And press enter. Then for each size, Enter its size in the size column. Okay, now select your parent item. Open your website's upload tab. And go to add child. Now find the items that you wish to add. So I'm adding all three, large, medium and small, by clicking on large and dragging down to small. Press accept, and these three items will appear on the right. Now go to set product category, select the category, press accept, and press upload to web and save. You will get a confirmation message that this is complete. That item is now linked to your website with the three options of large, medium and small. Go to Web Multistore and Web Orders. This is where you will manage orders created on the website. To download the orders, you can either tick this box and they will automatically download every 15 minutes or you can press download new orders. You select Shopify and press accept. As you can see, there's an order here. It's not been processed. To see what items are in this order, you double click. Okay, so at the top, you can see there's a cat collar blue. The item, this is the item we added to the website earlier. And below is web test 4 which is on an unattached product this is a product that is not yet linked to your epos system if you are just completing this order from this first screen you press dispatch entire order this will f will completely fulfill the order on your shopify site If you are just, if one of your items are out of stock, you open the order, 
you click on the item that's in stock, allocate stock. You can now click on the next one and press cancel. So as you can see, the top one is allocated and the second one is cancelled. If you now go back to your incomplete orders, you can press dispatch entire order. We'll ask you which mail option you are using. If it's none of these, you can use local delivery, which is an option that will give you your own custom details. But I'm going to select Royal Mail. I'm going to put a reference of one. Now if we go to incomplete orders now, that order will have disappeared. That will also have fulfilled the order on Shopify. If you have any issues with the integration, feel free to contact our support team at the usual phone number or at support at premierepos.co.uk.